I thought I'd mention a quick vlog. I know it's been a while, but so much has happened. Last week, and I don't remember what day it happened, but last week our power went out. We had a mini tornado come through here, and a lot of parts of Cleveland lost power. And not only for just a day, but we lost power for five days. And it was miserable because, first of all, it was hot and and muggy, and the uh, so the air didn't work. We could, we didn't have fans, nothing. But it wasn't completely unbearable because we opened all the windows in the house and just I mean we had, and the doors and we had a breeze. You know, but naturally at night we had to close the window. Well, I left the windows open, but I closed the door. And uh, so, yeah, yeah, that was difficult. That was completely difficult. And then my phone wouldn't charge uh, in my car. I tried to charge my phone in my car, but it wouldn't charge. Like, it would take, like, I don't know, an hour, or no, let's say about half an hour, and I'd only have like 4% charge. So, and then, so that made the screen dark. So people try to call, but I couldn't see the screen or the buttons on the screen to answer the call. So, I, and I didn't even know who was calling because I couldn't see the screen. So, uh, that was terrible. And then uh, all my food went bad. I mean, this was a week where I actually was planning on... Last week was a week where I was actually planning on eating at home. You know, and healthy foods and all that kind of stuff. But um, all the food went bad. So I couldn't. And then... Um, this week I do have some food. Luckily I was able to get some food and because I have zero dinero. I'm not going to get into the story because someone really needed some... Well, I'm not getting into the story. I just have zero dinero. And, um... Yeah. Yeah. So, I don't know if I'm going to make it to the weekend. I have no idea, but I trust Jesus. I mean, I trusted Jesus this morning and because I, I had zero money, I had no gas, nothing, and I had to get to my sister's house uh, and no food. And so then this morning, I got food. I was able to get food. I was able to get a tiny bit of gas, so just enough to get to my sister's house and back. And, um, just other little things. I was able to get just a few other little things. So, I was happy. And the food should last me about two, three days. So, I'm going to have to worry about food again in about two, three days. So, that's where I am right now. Yeah, after the, Wow. Wow, Four, five days of no power in the middle of the summer. That's difficult, but at least it wasn't winter, you know, because that seems like it would be a lot more difficult to handle. Anyway, okay, so that's all that. It's a long story about what happened during uh, the past week and a half. So now, I'm just going to talk about a little bit about, um, I think I was on the topic of uh, the election. And I'm seeing how the left-wing media is spinning everything again that uh, Trump says and making it seem terrible. Trump was a good president. He was an excellent president. The everything, the economy was great. Everything was going well. Housing 
was affordable. Everything was going well. But they spun it so that people wouldn't believe it. Well, now they're spinning it again. And they're spinning everything he says to make it seem like he's against people or their common worker. When he brought back so many factory jobs from overseas. So, please. Take everything with a grain of salt. And if you can watch his speeches, watch a few of them on YouTube. Okay. So that was one of my men. Yes, I'm one of Mercer's men, and we endorse Trump. Okay. So there. Anyway, so yeah. I just wanted to say that. And, you know, they're just spinning it. They're just spinning it like, oh no. He's against unions, and he's not against unions. He's for unions. And, oh, no, he wants to cut Social Security tax. He, nothing is going to happen to Social Security. Nothing happened to it before, and nothing will happen to it again. All right. Those are just two of the things I read today. So, like, they're spinning everything and making him seem like a bad guy again, you know? And now Kam Kamala, Kam Kamala, I don't even know how to pronounce it. Kamala Harris is, uh, has picked a running mate, and, uh, I don't know. I mean, I don't know. We'll see what happens. We'll see what happens. You know, I like the fact that she's a woman and a minority. I just wish she had different policies on things. Policies that were similar to Trump's. You know? So, but she doesn't. And her policies have shown you what this country has become. And it will only get worse if she gets elected President of the United States. Remember, we are in a recession. Inflation is skyrocketing. Everything is not, everything is inaffordable. People can't make it. So, yeah. I know I can't make it. Anyway. So that's that. Um, yeah, so I endorse Trump too. I'm on Trump's side. You know? and But, you know, he really does need prayers. Like I said before, our, like I said before in a previous vlog, the left-wing evil, left-wing agenda people will never stop. They won't stop. They will just keep going and trying different things. This is hold on. This is one of Marissa's men. And you can see by what, what has happened in Marissa's life, life that they don't stop. They just will never ever stop. They have to be completely defeated. I don't know what that takes, but it takes Marissa healing. It takes a lot of other prayers. It takes tons of prayers. Marissa healing completely and many other things. Donald Trump getting into office and a few other, and many other things that we will post on Marissa's website. And we will let Marissa know. No. We will post it on Marissa's website. Anyway. So, yeah. Like, the cult has to be completely defeated. You know? That takes prayer. Lots and lots of prayer. Anyway. So yeah, sorry, I had a, I just had a flashback. 
Um, so, yeah, so that's that. Yeah, the film never stop. They'll never, they have to be defeated. That's just the way it is. They will never, ever stop. Never. So, you know, I was able to get away to New York, and it was normal for a couple months, and then it just, I saw the same faces starting to show up. I saw the same things happening there. Oh, my gosh. It was terrible. It was terrible. So, and then they destroyed the city where Marissa was living, or the neighborhood. They destroyed the neighborhood with evil, and they brought it to one of the nicest parts of New York City. But we've cleaned most of it up. So that's why Marissa cannot travel or move until these people are defeated. Because we cannot tolerate them destroying another city, another neighborhood, or anything else. And yes, we are saying it out loud. People are trying to move into the neighborhood in which Marissa lives to try to kick her out of here. And we are not allowing it. You will not kick Marissa out of another neighborhood and take it over. You will not. This is a free city. You can go wherever you want. But we're not a lot. We, are, we know who lives here. And we are only letting select people move in. Because Marissa is that important. I don't think I'm that important. But my men say it, so let them say it. I'm not saying it. I'm just saying, well, they're saying, they said it, so I'll say it. You know, I've noticed that people, uh, people from the other neighborhood were starting to show up in this neighborhood, and the two neighborhoods have completely, completely different, um, vibes, you know? completely different vibes and so I'm and then I'm like well I mean you like it here I mean I love it here I okay and Marissa does love it here but that doesn't mean that everyone should move here the way they move to her old neighborhood we are not allowing that to happen again yeah Anyway, so I'll I'll leave it at that. I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna say anymore. Anyway, so yeah, I did notice that, and I it did infuriate me for a little while because I thought to myself, oh great, now here they come again, and here, now they're gonna kick me out again of another neighborhood, and the neighborhood they kicked me out of here in Cleveland was one I grew up in and I lived most of my life in up until that point. I think I lived there until I was until I was about 42 and I had only moved out of that neighborhood for let's see one two one and one and a half two and a half four years other than four years not living in that's it for 42 years I had only not lived in that neighborhood for um, four years and then I moved out and I came here and then I went back for I think another year and a half or two, and that and then I'm now I'm back here again for good. So yeah, I don't plan on going back to that neighborhood. It really made me sad. I loved that neighborhood. It made me so sad that I I wasn't welcome there anymore when I you know grew up there and all of that. So and I just don't want it to happen again. 
and it won't happen again. It will never happen again. We control this neighborhood now. It's carefully monitored and controlled so that Marissa can have a decent life. That's right. And, you know, I try not to go out of my comfort zone too much so I don't have to run into all the evilness and all that kind of stuff. So I have a radius that I usually stick to and I don't go much further than that and in any direction. Um, so that's that. And I think I'm going to end it there because this turned out to be a very personal vlog except for what I said about the, um, about the election and Trump winning and, you know, how they're spinning it all again to make him seem like he's terrible. But I suggest not to, the way my men did, is to really watch, subscribe to him on YouTube. Because it's, because it's better to see him in person speaking and see, um, see that rather than just a tweet here and there, you know, or so, or something on Instagram, or I don't know, but it is, it's, you get a better sense of who he is, you know, and what he's all about. He has talked about some, a lot of his policies, you know, that he wants to implement, in the, you know, the things he said he'll do on day one, and the things he said he'll do in his presidency, if he's elected again. And uh, so, I mean, I suggest you watch you uh, watch him on YouTube. Subscribe to President Trump. And you'll see those messages that he has recorded. And you'll see his, um, his campaign stops and speeches. All right. And on that note, I'm going to end this vlog, and I'm going to say I hope everybody watching has a great evening tonight and a great day tomorrow, and things go your way. All right, bye.